Erin McGladdery from Marsden, Saskatchewan, Canada. Christine Harrelson, Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Laura Chenault, Utica, Ohio. Cara Kelly, Lapeer, Michigan. Emily McCarthy, Wisconsin. Sharon Wallace, Townville, South Carolina. All right, everybody, here we are. Greg Poole with Bow Junkie Media. We're at the 2018 ASA in Foley, Alabama. I'm here with my esteemed colleague, Elite Pro Staff Manager, Darren Christianberry, who is, quite honestly, folks, probably not super stoked to be here with me today because he uh, he just missed his shoot, shoot off on that last arrow, man. How are you doing, Darren? Uh, yeah, better now. It took a little while for me to get over it, and I pouted for a little bit, but I'm over it now, and we're going to watch an exciting shoot down tonight. Start your All right, so let's uh, nah. let's take a look at what we got go going on for scores there, Darren. Uh, Sharon Wallace is 404. Emily McCarthy is at 397. Cara Kelly is at a 393. Laura Chenault's at 388, and then Christine Harrelson and Aaron McGladdery are both at 387. All right, so let's get this started. We got uh, the one minute has started. We're uh, looking at Sharon Carpenter right here. Excuse me, Sharon Wallace. Sharon Wallace. And I will note, right as we're starting, wind has been a factor all weekend, and it will be a factor tonight. Normally not at the ASAs other than Texas, but uh, wind's been a little funky this weekend. Here we go. Sharon Wallace starts off with a 10. 10 for Sharon Wallace. All right, let's see what uh, you want to grab that pen over there, Darren. We can keep track of things here. Emily McCarthy with a 10. Wind's kind of dab down a little bit right now, but uh, I wouldn't hold out on that holding out. <laughs> no, it's been gusting. That's the tricky part. Absolutely. There we go for Cara Kelly with a 10. Ladies kind of starting out here, just kind of getting them nerves taken care of, just get some center yeah, 10s. Yeah, make sure their numbers are right and then mash the gas. Absolutely. Lower Chanel with, a, with an 8. And one other thing, obviously, Darren, like we've talked about before, they're shooting underneath the lights now. Mm -hmm. that, that's not how it was. No, definitely different. Definitely different. Clarifiers and peeps make things look different under different lighting. Dean Harrelson with a 10. Let's see what Aaron McGladdery has out there on the gear. And an 8 for Aaron McGladdery. So that's the first end of shooting in the women's pro. So let's go to the PSE leaderboard and look at the movement. All right, so here we are on to uh, arrow number two, having a little bit of technical difficulty with one of our mics. So uh, me and Darren are going to share this thing. So a uh, couple eights and a couple tens there on the first uh, round for uh, first arrow for score there. Kind of girls kind of getting getting s settled in here. Yeah, getting calibrated. The first thing you want to make sure your numbers are right. And uh, hopefully they get gauged up here and we're going to see a good show. All right, so here comes the one minute. Uh, for those of you watching at home, once Mike Terrell uh, lets them loose, they have one minute to get their arrow off. So they can they can let down three times if they want, Darren, but they better do it in a minute. Yeah, that's for sure. And I see already interesting, there's a lot of people that win, we said would be a factor, but it looks like all the girls would rather have the umbrellas for, shad for shade. I guess the, the lights are probably a distraction out there. Yeah, I mean, that's definitely something that, that we saw here last year as well. Aaron McGladdery trying to wait this out, but uh, one minute doesn't really last all that long. So this is she's going to only get this one draw because she's going to have to get it going. Hopefully Mike counts her down if she gets close on time. We'll see how she does. She's looking hard. He might be a little more lenient with the wind the way it is too. Absolutely. So Christine Harrelson calls the upper 12. Still a 10 for Christine Harrelson. All right, moving on to Laura Chenault. Laura 
Oh, they're getting down to uh, check this one out for sure. Dude's rocking the macrame jeans out there. Must have got those at the ATA. <laughs> and eight for Laura. That's another eight for Laura Chenault. Definitely not how she wanted to come out shooting back-to-back -back eights. That first one's okay when everyone else shoots the 10, but once things get rolling, you want to uh, you want to pick up the pace. And if you're not calibrated now, if you shoot back-to-back -back eights. Wow. 14 for Cara Kelly. That's what she was looking for That's out there, awful. and the wind had died down right there. So I hope she did that on purpose. <laughs> I don't think the wind was quite that bad, Darren. No. But Emily McCarthy with a 10. That, Didn't really see enough wind out there for that to happen, no, but that, she'll take it. That did bump car up tied with Emily now. <laughs> Absolutely. Ooh. And then eight for Sharon Wallace. Yeah, let's see what Erin McGladdery got here. She got right down to the last second on that. She was waiting and waiting for that wind. They're looking hard here. And a 12 nice. for Aaron McGladdery. Aaron McGladdery uh, makes the patience pay off there. She did. She did. In, in a time crunch, she made it happen. Absolutely. Let's go to the PSC leaderboard and see where we stand. All right, Darren, here we go. This is area number three at the 2018 ASA in Foley, Alabama. This weekend's coverage brought to you by Easton Arrows. Uh, we're in the women's pro. Cara Kelly comes out with a 14 on her on the shot there. Whether it doesn't really matter how it happened, it no. happened, and uh, she's she's going to take that. Guaranteed. So that, that, that moved her up pretty. Tied for second. Tied for second right now. And then Sh Sharon, Sharon shot an eight, so she came back to him a little bit. It's Absolutely. only five points between first and second. Now. Yeah, that's in. Now, obviously, right now, the conditions have died down pretty good. Yeah. This is this is about as good as you could ever expect out no here. No doubt. Christine Harrelson. Ten for Christine Harrelson. Christine's been shooting solid. She, she has. When I talked to her in her interview the other day, she's been training full time. She only took off a couple weeks. Nice. She's been putting in some real work. And a 10 for Aaron. Was that Aaron? Sharon Wallace with a 12 wow, on the turkey. Wow, she got that bird. That's awesome. That's, uh, that's not an easy 12 to get no, there, is it? No, it's not. Especially that target's so new. It's nice that it has that giant 10, but it's still weird aiming at that big old 12 down there. Absolutely. Emily McCarthy with a 10 on the coyote. We are obviously uh, lucky enough to have Vortex Optics sponsoring our yardage graphic on these on these targets here. So uh, 10 for Cara Kelly. Uh, Vortex sponsoring the uh, yardage graphic here, Darren. So uh, as we as we go by these targets, uh, the Vortex graphics letting everybody know exactly what the yardage is. Oh, perfect. And an eight for Laura Chenault. So it doesn't look like we're going to have too much movement there besides the uh, the, the 14 by Cara Kelly. So uh, let's go check out the PSC leaderboard and see how they washed out. All right, Darren, here we go. Arrow number four in the Women's Pro at the 2018 ASA in Foley, Alabama. This weekend's coverage brought to you by Easton Arrows. We, uh, we just got done looking at the PSC leaderboard, and as you can say, really our own, as you could have seen, really our only big move thus far has been the 14 by Cara Kelly, but uh, everybody else kind of holding tight a little bit. A few eights mixed in there, but we haven't really seen any big mistakes yet. No, nothing crazy. And, and Carr, the, the top three right now is pretty tight race. And if fourth, fifth, and sixth want to get in that race, it's time to make a move. Absolutely. They only technically only have two arrows to go, potentially three. Yes. 
but I really don't see Sharon uh, making any huge missteps there to give him any opportunities. I don't think she will. Sharon, she's been out there a thousand times, and she's pretty comfortable out there. All right, here we go. Cara Kelly on the deer with a 10. She didn't look... She didn't look super, super thrilled with that one there. Obviously, she knows she needs to make some moves here. So. <laughs> For sure. Emily with a 12. Wow. wow. Good shooting by Emily right there on that, uh, on everybody's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> 10 for Sharon Wallace. And that's really, that's really what Sharon has to do right now is just stay in the 10, yep. see if anyone starts to make up ground to her, but not yeah. not give up any. Yeah, she can't go back to them. She has to make them come to her. Absolutely. So Easier here's, said than done. Of course it is. Aaron McGladdery here on the, on the turkey. Five for Aaron McGladdery. That's going to hurt. But she did come into this in the bottom position, so really she, she didn't have a whole lot to lose. As high as her arrow was in that turkey, I believe she might have be, might have been going for the 14. That's what I'm saying. All right, here we go. Christine Harrelson. Is that the Blez Buck? That is the Blez Buck. The Blez Buck. They're looking hard. 12 for Christine Harrelson. All that practice is paying off. She's got some game. Absolutely, and uh, she has her ever-loving husband, Chad, at home working them five jobs to pay for that <laughs> mid-engine Corvette she's yeah. got coming up. 12 for 12 Laura Shannon. So the girls look look like they're turning up the heat a little bit here. We still uh, still have Sharon Wallace with a five-point lead. Let's check out the PSE leaderboard. Darren, here we go. This is the fifth and probably not final arrow in the Women's Pro at the 2018 ASA. We've got an ambulance going by. Lights on, no sirens, luckily, so uh, must not be that big of an emergency. There we go. So uh, obviously, Cara Kelly had, had made a little bit of a move there, but uh, has given up two points of that back to, to Emily McCarthy. So Sharon Wallace still in a fairly commanding position here. Yeah, five-point lead with one official target to go is a pretty good place to be. Absolutely, absolutely. Maybe they'll, uh, when they come down to the sixth arrow, maybe they'll throw like a three-yarder out there. You know all about that, right? Yeah, hopefully they don't. <laughs> it's embarrassing when you miss it. <laughs> I'm telling you that from a friend's. Absolutely. Well, and and look, we we've yet to point it out, but there's actually six women in the uh, right. shoot down there here instead of five. For fifth. All right, here we go. Car Kelly on the Russian board with a ten. Seems to me, obviously, I'm not out there, but it would seem to me, Laura Chanel on the Blesbuck with a twelve. Wow. Don't really see anybody taking the huge gambles here, so it almost looks like. They're just kind of trying to protect some positions. Yes, I think so, too. And the, the wind has died down a bunch, but it's definitely been a factor all weekend. But the lighting might be giving them trouble, too. 12 for Christine Harrelson. That's two 12s in a row. That's that's going to qualify as making a move right there. She's, uh, yeah, she's, it looks like she's just going to run out of targets a hair too soon. Right. She's making, she's hitting 12s. Is, that's what you got to do. Absolutely. Eight for Aaron. Aaron McGladdery with an eight on the long wolf there. All right, let's see what our leader Sharon Wallace has on the heavy here. I just don't see I just don't see Sharon making any big no. mistakes here, so. <laughs> 10 for Sharon Wallace on the heavy. All right, let's see what Emily McCarthy has going on down here. It amazes me how well Emily and Dan McCarthy and an 8 for Emily McCarthy, but it amazes me how well they do considering where they live and they just don't get a chance to look at any yardage. Yeah, Dan and I talked about that the other day that you know he won't really set targets out till probably mid-March at earliest. Right. And that's a huge disadvantage for guys that live in the south that have already shot six local tournaments, you know. Absolutely. All right, let's check out the PSE leaderboard heading into our sixth and final arrow. All 
All right, Darren, here we go. This is the sixth arrow. This is not the final arrow because we, we both slipped up here because there's six because there's six archers in the women's pro shoot down here. There's actually the, the sudden sudden victory is going to be the seventh, seventh arrow. Absolutely. Yeah, I'm so, doing the math here going, okay, there's fourth, fifth, and sixth, <laughs> and we still got another arrow to shoot. Absolutely. So uh, here we are at the 2018 ASA in Foley, Alabama women's. Open Pro, Sharon Wallace maintaining a pretty stout lead. Hasn't made any big mistakes. Uh, we've had a couple 12s in a row from Christine Harrelson. Uh, nice. Cara Kelly hit a 14, but really haven't seen any of the consistent movement. And even with that consistent movement, they needed they needed Sharon to, to s slip up a little yeah, bit. Yeah, she didn't make any mistakes. Christine's hit a few 12s. There has been some rings hit, but they were just too far behind to start, unfortunately. Absolutely. Not Here that I'm go. rooting against Sharon, but no, you know, absolutely. For, oh, yeah, for absolutely. the girls to get where they needed to be, they just were at too big of a deficit. Yeah, no, absolutely. From a competitive standpoint, that's that's just good analysis. Mm. So, so here we go. The one minute is up. The wind is, as you can see, the wind has picked up a little bit here. Emily McCarthy, aiming hard on that one right there. The majority of them are still looking for shade instead of wind. Yeah, they are, which kind of tells you a lot. I'll be curious to see how that plays out mm -hmm. the rest of the evening. All right, we got, uh, looks like Christine Harrelson's just coming to full draw right now. She's going to be getting short on time. But like you said, in, in these kind of conditions, that, that one minute to shoot, th there has to be a little bit of leniency there. There needs there, to so. be some cushion. You just, yeah. you can't help it. Right. There you go. And, and I think that the intent of that was for someone letting down a bunch right. and, <clears throat> and intentionally doing it. So here we go, Sharon, Sharon. Sharon Wallace with an eight. That's her first non-double digit arrow of the shoot down so far. I think she had one earlier. Oh, she did? Yeah, she did, I believe. Or her second arrow, she shot Oh, there eight. you go. Seems like so long ago, Darren, I forgot. <laughs> All right, and a 10. 10 for Aaron McGladdery. Let's see what uh, Christine Harrelson's got going on on the uh, wolf. Tw 12. Look at Christine Harrelson dropping some 12s there. She just run out of targets. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Here's Laura Chenault. 10 on the turkey. The, the turkey is the closest target out here, Darren, as you can see from the, mm -hmm. from the vortex yardage optic there, uh, graphic there, I, sh I should say. Cara Kelly with an 8. Obviously, as you can see from the, from the vortex graphic, the... Uh, the, the turkey is the closest target, but that doesn't necessarily make it the easiest. Definitely not. I'm sure the black finish on that with the humps and the grooves and the textures may give them a good aiming spot or it may confuse them. Absolutely. And a 10 for Emily McCarthy. So let's take a look at our PSC leaderboard and see who, see who we have moving on into the sudden, su sudden victory seventh arrow. All right, Darren, here we go. This is the seventh and final air in the women's Open Pro at the 2018 Foley ASA. Been a pretty, pretty straightforward shoot down so far. Sharon Wallace has uh, did what she needed to do to maintain for the win, but obviously coming into this with a five-point lead has got to be pretty comforting. Yeah, and, and Sharon did make a couple boo-boos and, and, and let a couple get outside the 10 ring, but it really didn't hurt her too bad. And Christine made it in by Sharon shooting an eight and Christine hit a 12. So now Sharon has a nine point lead over Christine. So even if she 14's a target, it's probably not gonna affect what Sharon does. But you know, Karen, or Karen uh, Christine has new life again. She gets to shoot one more arrow. Absolutely, and hey, look, anytime you shoot 12s in a row like that, you, you deserve to get in. For sure, yeah, she's on a roll just, uh, like I said before, just ran out of targets. Absolutely, so here we go. This is uh, Christine Harrelson. She's behind that umbrella, trust me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she is uh, actually looking for more shade than she is uh, wind block at this point, although you can see a little bit of wind on there. So she's just looking at the wolf. That, From the looks of that, it looks, looks like she uh, can't quite tell what she was going for over there. Let's see what Christine Harrelson was going for. Looking for the 14, and she gets an 8. So Christine Harrelson with an 8. That gives her a total of 461 by my math. So there you go. 
Car needs a six. Car, is there a six ring? <laughs> there is not. There is not a six ring. So if Car gets an eight, she ensures third place at least. Absolutely. All right, here we go. Cara Kelly, seventh and final arrow. Cara is in position where she kind of needs to, you know, it, even if she guns for it, she's probably better off here going for a stronger podium position as opposed to trying to for sure. catch she, she, she needs Sharon an, Wallace. She needs an eight to make sure she's on the podium. Absolutely. There you go. Looks like a pretty, pretty decent sh shot down there. De definitely the smart play. Cara Kelly with a 10. So that's going to pretty much cement Cara mm -hmm. Kelly into a into a definite check at this event, which is good. A first 3D event of the year with the new Matthews bow. I mean, good for her. Yeah, Cara's got game. It doesn't matter what bow you put in her hand. She's going to be a competitor out there. She's really strong at this 3D. Any archer game, Cara's a very, very strong player. Absolutely. Emily needs an 8 to tie, I believe, and a 10 to take second or first, depending on what Sharon does. Absolutely. All right, here we go. This is Emily McCarthy, seventh and final arrow in the Women's Open Pro here at Foley, Alabama, ASA. This weekend's coverage is brought to you by Easton Arrows. Here she goes. Once again, it looks like she's going for shade as opposed to wind. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that lighting's definitely tricky out there. No doubt. I mean, this is a great venue. It's beautiful. Uh, it's the... You know, we're grateful for the good Wi-Fi, of course, but, uh, you know, underneath the tent here, doing the doing the coverage here for Bow Junkie. So great v v venue here. But as far as shooting conditions, yes, these lights do play some fits with folks. Emily McCarthy with a 10. So definitely looks like Cara and Emily were uh, were trying to maintain their, their spot. Yeah, I know. If Sharon would happen to slip up and shoot a five, we'll go to an additional arrow because that would tie right. her with Emily. Absolutely. I'd say Sharon's going to put her pin in the middle of the eight ring and make the best shot she can. Yep. Just uh, get her in there and move right on, take that buckle and roll out. <laughs> Mike's trying to tempt her with some weird stuff, but I'm pretty sure she's going to seal the deal right here. Yeah, no, I think she's looking for the ultimate birthday gift today. For sure. And uh, the... A, a nice victory at the ASA Foley event would probably do that. So here comes Sharon. All Sharon needs here is a basically an eight to win. Yes. All right, let's take take a gander right here. An eight and Sharon Wallace is your 2018 Foley ASA champion. All right, so I'm here with your 2018 ASA Foley champion, the birthday girl, Sharon Wallace. How's that feel? It feels really good. I, I just wish for this for my birthday, so I was real happy. Absolutely. We were over there kind of discussing what sort of birthday gifts you'd be looking for today, and obviously a victory at the first ASA is kind of the way to go. Yeah, really, really happy about it. So um, we're hoping for like another real good happy birthday for a certain <laughs> other person today so that would really make a good birthday absolutely and so talk talk to us about setting the tone for the rest of your for the rest of the year coming out with the first outdoor event and getting this win um like i said earlier i would you know we haven't been able to practice like we wanted to so i think you had a little bit of an advantage because a lot of people up north they can't practice so uh, down south we get to practice a little bit more but Due to some circumstance, we weren't able to do a little bit more practicing like we want. But once we get home, it's just full on board. <laughs> it's just going to be nothing but shooting. There you go. Congratulations. Thank you so much.